Okay, so here is both versions of Demonica. This is the 2010 and this is the 2011. As you can see, this one's a pale grayish color and that one's a dark purple. This one's not as dark as it should be or probably used to be. This one's normally pretty dark. There's They're very different. The programming is very different for them. Like I said, this one, oh, it's a nightmare. That's why they improved that. You, that's why they improved this one the way it is. Um, see the, the nails? This one's nails are painted. This one is not. This one goes up and down three times in operation if it fully works. And the head turns the whole time if it also fully works. That one only turns its head a little bit. And that one goes up and down two times. Um, also, remember this one's eyes are wired to only light up when it rises because it they got fried. But... I think they're getting weaker. Well, because like when it rises all the way up, both motors are still turning the head lifting and the rising. So it kind of flickers now, but it's still fine. And remember, this one has a cable that pulls on the back of the head when it's fully risen. This one has, they added a mechanism to it that lifts the head up. So, and like I said, everything on this has to work right for it to actually work. Otherwise, it'll just sit there and make noise. The relay switch has to work. The motor has to work. The resistors have to work. Everything has to work in order for it to do anything. The head will not move if it does not rise up all the way or if the components aren't working. This one, it doesn't really matter. The head will move even if it doesn't rise. The 2011s are usually always low pitch. Uh, 2010 is just regular pitch. Um, as you can see, the 2010 is actually smaller. It rises down shorter than the uh, 2011. Uh, and the hair color is different. This one's just plain gray. This one, it's old, but it's originally black, white, and black has black and white streaks. Um, and this one retailed for $100. It did not come with an adapter. And you had to assemble everything on the base and plug the wires in. This one comes pretty much fully assembled except for the body, the shoulders and head. You just have to attach that and that's it. That's literally it. And that one retailed for $120 because the extra mechanism that they added to it. And the it, this one did come with an adapter. And like you said, the 2012 one is pretty much the same. The head moves a little faster than the 2011, but see this one turns where the underneath where the cloth is and it gets stuck in between where it turns. So on the 2012, they improved it. It turns above where the cloth is. Um, so yeah, it worked better. But I don't think it lasted any longer than this one. Actually, the, I think the 2011 ones, the levers that lift the head up, I think are better on the 2011 one than the 2012 as far as I know because I know I had uh, two howlers and they both broke the levers and a lot of times I see the demonicas their heads click when they tilt and stuff so yeah yeah see she's malfunctioning again this is what I mean and if she doesn't hit her relay if she doesn't rise up or anything her head will not move she'll just do that She was very, very, very faulty. Very faulty. But look at the movement difference. Not rising now. She, she she always malfunctions. And I will quickly show them with the lights off.
They also both have a timer. They go every minute and a half. Yeah, that was not right, isn't it? Of course. And you might be thinking this one has more hair than that one, but it actually it varies because I used to have a second 2011 Demonica uh, that had just as much hair as this one did. That one actually looked creepier than that one. But everything stopped working on that one. It stopped rising down. It would only rise up. The head stopped turning. And so, yeah. And I do need new cloth for it though. You know Just to show you the mechanisms. They both have the track lift mechanism, but like I said, this one has a cable in it. See, it stops working when I lift the thing up too. And then when you assemble it, this one uh, twists to lock into place, that one just snaps the lock. And here's this one. is even different on them but this one's relay switch doesn't even work and that's what I mean it still works without the relay switch working this one again if if one little thing doesn't work on this one it'll cause the whole thing to not move or like it, it can it can it can rise up but that'll all it, that's all it'll do it won't continue to go up and down it'll just sit there and light up it's yeah that they improved it to this for a reason. This going up and down three times and turning its head the whole time. Well, it could have worked if they programmed it better, but they programmed it very horrible. So that's that's how it turned out. And they changed that. They really changed that on the new model. So, well, it's not new anymore, but I mean, this thing is almost 10 years old. 2020, this thing will be 10 years old. <laughs> it's weird to think that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, comparison video. 
Let me know what you th what what one you think. Yeah, let me get you guys. Let me know which one you think is better. Which one do you like better? Which one looks better? Which one has better animation? Just yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching.